Well, it's uh, going to be uh, interesting. I, didn't, I don't know if I'd even brought this up before, but the um, we only used 1% of our interview footage in the film itself, and we interviewed roughly 50 people across all different walks of life and, and study. But what we're doing, um, actually starting a week from tomorrow, is we're going to release the DMT Remix Project, and essentially what that is is we're going to be putting out all of our footage so people can watch this stuff, and it'll be a, a non-commercial Creative Commons People can watch this stuff. They can make their own films with it. They can share it with people. And so I want this to kind of be a new way of discussion or at least to, for people to get out there and, and start looking at, at what some of these thoughts are and, and, and kind of teasing them a little bit and having a discussion with a friend or a family member and letting this you know broader culture uh, get their hands on these, on these ideas. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens now once this discussion moves outside of just this one and a half hour, one hour and 15 minute film. And this whole collection of knowledge is starting to, to get used and, and recut and, and new juxtapositions and, and just new vocabulary and new words to, to start understanding and start talking about what this new way of consciousness is. And um, I am fascinated by this release tomorrow because to be able to take, and this is from somebody who um, we still haven't released the first film that we did yet, but from somebody who's gone through the process um, to be able to have the opportunity at one point to be able to um, take all the the behind the scenes footage and put that out to the public and let them make their own judgment call would be a really exciting proposition. I'm excited to see what happens. I, I think that, um, you know, I, I had roughly four years to dig through that footage and spend time with it and sit with it. and just have a sense that this could really kind of change the the discussion and i'm excited to really see what happens once other people get their hands on it like other filmmakers like you said to to start finding these new stories that are there i mean we've got 100 hours of great interview footage and there's probably five six seven eight full-length documentaries in that footage that could be that could be constructed and i only took one percent of that so to start to see what sort of an impact that has on culture um that's where it gets exciting um and start to get people thinking about this stuff and just coming at it from a totally different um lens mm. creative commons wonderful thing and i think more people should look into it and 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 and, and imbibe in it because it's uh, it's the way of the future uh this intellectual property crap is you know as much as i like to say this is part of my this is part of my thing and this is my creation at the same time it uh you know information is is free and should be free and i think there you know i mean there has to be a certain responsibility as far as getting paid for your time to put it into a neat package that can entertain um, and inspire but this idea that a, an idea can be owned is uh, mm, well and particularly if there's any challenging to wrap my if there's any of. truth to this theory uh, this this theory that's implied by the question that Graham has asked uh, you know is is there this common parallel sort of going on right here at the same time just can't see it well then whose idea was it yeah how do you i'm not saying it's not you know that's that we're not brilliant enough to to invent our own ideas and that some fairy has to come put them in our head but how do you know yeah and how do you bring that to court somewhere it's hard it's uh it's it is a touchy one and like you said it's uh you know yes we would like to be compensated for whatever work the time that you put into something but you know the more i thought about it it's all of these ideas that were going to be sitting in my vault for you know however long and nobody else getting there getting to wrap their heads around it uh, it seemed like it seemed like a waste and it felt like humanity and culture needed to see these things so I, it, it was almost it was almost a no-brainer for me just to let's go put it out let's see what happens with it and let people have some fun with it but uh, it is it's a tough one because you do want to survive and i want to be able to feed family and have a roof over my head but at the same time i feel that these things can make a bigger impact on culture than than just a paycheck 